The demographics of Washington are changing. Over the last 25 years, growth in the state's immigrant and refugee populations have been critical to revitalizing communities across Washington and supporting the expansion of key sectors of our economy, from agriculture to high tech and small business ownership. Since 1990, Washington's immigrant and refugee populations have nearly tripled, from around 320,000 in 1990 to over 916,000 in 2012. During that same period, immigrants and refugees have doubled their share of the state's population, from 6.6% .6 of the population, or one out of every 15 residents, to 13.3%, or one out of every seven and a half. As the population has grown, so too has the political power of immigrants and refugees, culminating in the passage of landmark legislation, the Washington State DREAM Act in 2014. The power of immigrants and refugees and their families will only continue to grow. Around 28% of all children under the age of 18 in Washington have at least one parent who is an immigrant. Despite their growing presence in all aspects of life in Washington, immigrants and refugees still face unique barriers to accessing power. Nearly 240,000 undocumented immigrants and hundreds of thousands of their friends and relatives await action from Congress on just and humane immigration reform. Another 180,000 green card holders are eligible to become citizens, but face barriers to naturalizing in the form of high fees and expensive legal services, among many others. Another 300,000 Asian Pacific Islanders and Latino citizens are either unregistered or infrequent voters. The full power of immigrant and refugee communities will only be realized when we engage in strengthening our democracy by organizing, engaging, and mobilizing our communities. There are many ways to engage in strengthening democracy, and the vast majority don't require being a citizen. Volunteer with an organization or a campaign. Talk to your neighbors and friends. Phone bank. Canvas. And if you're fortunate enough to be a citizen, register and vote. Voting in Washington is a little different from most states, since most voting is done by mail. That's right. Ballots will be mailed to you at least 18 days before the election, and you have until 8 p.m. on Election Day to return your ballot by mail or in an official drop box. Empowering our immigrant and refugee communities to engage in the political process strengthens our democracy and leads the way to a brighter future for Washington with justice for all. Take a moment to mark November 4th as Election Day. Learn more at weareoneamerica.org.